After traveling in space for nearly four months, uh, Aditya L1, India's first ever solar observatory, has reached the first Lagrangian point, uh, L1, of the Sun-Earth system. It is now about 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth. On Saturday around 4 p.m., the Indian Space Research Organization is going to perform a very critical maneuver, which will be to place the satellite into a halo orbit around this L1 point. And this is where the satellite is going to remain for the next five years and get a lot of data for the astrophysicist to study. Uh, L1 point, even though it's a million kilometers away from the Earth, it just covers 1% of the distance between the Sun and the Earth. So the Sun is still going to be like hundreds of million, 100 million kilometers away from the uh, from this L1 point. But uh, it gives a unique vantage point for our scientists to study the sun and get an unhindered view without any eclipse. Uh, Aditya L1, if you remember, was launched last year on September 2nd and it has around seven payloads on it, uh, which have been developed by scientists from multiple institutes in India. Uh, an important payload here is the visible emission line corona graph, which will study the outermost layer of the sun and uh, has been developed by Indian Institute of Astrophysics, Bengaluru. Now, when ISRO performs this maneuver on Saturday, it will ensure that all these payloads are switched off so that when the thrusters are fired, that disturbance does not impact these payloads. And once a stable orbit is obtained, then the, all these payloads will be gradually switched on. Uh, scientists have uh, told us that VELC, which is the primary payload, will be switched on around the end of January and then the uplinking, downlinking of data will happen. Uh, they intend to study, uh, like I said, the outermost layer of the sun, which is the corona. They also intend to study a lot of these uh, uh, powerful magnetic storms which are ejected from the sun, the solar flares, the solar storms and the coronal mass ejections. These have a tendency to interfere with the Earth's geomagnetic field. They also have the potential to damage the electronic equipments about a lot of satellites, uh, thousands of satellites in space. So scientists are really keen to understand these systems, their origins, so that they can think of predicting them in the near future. So a lot of mysteries that the sun carries and all these missions are going to help uh, the scientists understand and probably address some of these mysteries. So all the eyes will be on the Indian Space Research Organization on, uh, on Saturday as it performs this critical maneuver.